This video is sponsored by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform to build your online presence. This is the brand new Carnival Celebration. We're going to take you around on a full ship tour and walkthrough. Let's start at the front on deck 6. First up we have the Cloud9 Spa and a fully equipped gym. Let's move towards the back of the ship. The first thing we noticed is that she's much brighter than her sister ship, the Mardi Gras. There's a lovely wall mural with the original coins of the ship. On one side we have the Punchliner Comedy Club. In here you'll find nightly comedy. Let's move to the opposite side of the ship where you'll find the Piano Bar 88. Here you'll find live performances on the piano each evening. As we make our way towards the centre of the ship, you'll enter the Celebration Central area. First up on the right hand side is the Java Blue Cafe. Here you can purchase things such as drinks, but there's also free savoury food on offer, but the desserts and things like muffins are an extra cost. You can also grab complimentary coffee, tea or water here. In the middle of Celebration Centre you'll find a large seating area to watch the shows on the central stage. There's also the Tropical Bar. The centre stage acts as a theatre and it's over three decks. It's truly spectacular and we saw some absolutely fantastic original shows here as well as guest performances. It's a really unique and great venue. As we move towards the back of the ship, on the right hand side you have the cherry on top candy store as well as a vintage car. I mean that's a pretty good parking spot. I hope they don't get a ticket. Moving further back we have the fun shops of Carnival. There's plenty of shopping to be done on board. Next up we have something very unique to the carnival celebration. It's called the Gateway and it features the bar Latitudes. It's very reminiscent of bars found in airports and train stations around the world. With some special cocktails here, it's a fantastic area and features some massive LED screens which look like windows that can transport you to different parts of the world. It's going to be a great spot for a party.
Just opposite the Latitudes Bar, you'll find a cut through to another area. Here you'll find vintage travel posters celebrating the 50 years of Carnival Cruises. Here you can find the Carnival Restaurant, one of the complimentary main dining rooms on board. We think this space is much nicer than the one found on Mardi Gras. It's a real step up. And to celebrate those 50 years of cruising, we enter the celebration area. Here you'll find lots of fun things with portals showing the history of Carnival cruising, as well as a massive ship model. It's truly beautiful. This area is really lovely and it's great to see the cruise line celebrating their long history. This area is also home to the Golden Jubilee Bar, another bar celebrating 50 years of fun. It's an absolutely stunning place. There's a piano here as well, so you're going to find live music. do feel like Carnival have really upped their game with this ship. Now back to the gateway. This space will become immersive each night. To kick off every night there'll be a multimedia show using all of the windows and things like lighting and sound to indicate a brand new experience has begun. You'll find the Emeralds Bistro 1397 Specialty Restaurant. It is an extra pay restaurant and it's created in partnership with celebrity chef Emeril Lagasse. This restaurant offers Creole cuisine as well as dishes from around the world. And just after the Emeralds, we have the Carnival Kitchen. Here you can have fun with cooking and cook with the chefs on board for an extra charge. At the very back of the ship, we have the Festival Restaurant. This is the largest main dining room on board and it's split over two different levels. On deck six, you'll find the bottom level. It's a really big dining room, but the middle of the dining room is truly stunning. And at the very back of the ship, there are some very large panoramic windows offering some beautiful views. Top tip, request a seat next to the windows. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform that helps you create your online website and grow your presence or business. It's such a powerful and easy platform to use. It gives you all of the tools you need to bring your ideas to life. In just minutes, you can create a beautiful website using the fantastic selection of customizable templates. It's great for bloggers like us, as well as people who want to build a website, sell online, or promote your brand or yourself. Some things that we really love are the powerful insights 
insights you can gain with the analytic tools. This helps people find your content and helps grow your website. We also like how we can seamlessly integrate our social media channels and easily embed our YouTube videos on pages. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash Ben and David to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Let's move up one deck to deck seven and at the front of the ship we have the Grand Spectrum Theatre. It is a little bit smaller than other theatres found on other big ships but there are two theatres with the Central Stage Theatre. Here you'll find productions as well as visiting acts. The entertainment so far has been fantastic. Moving towards the back we have the Empress Casino and it's absolutely huge with lots of different machines as well as tables as well as a lovely area with some panoramic windows and half of it is non-smoking. That's great for those who don't want to be in a smoky environment. Now we're moving into the middle of the ship on deck 7 in Celebration Central. There's lots of seating to watch the shows on the central stage. And here's the Aquaria Bar. It actually features pieces from old carnival ships. All around the Celebration Central area there's different seating areas for you to watch the shows. We do recommend getting there early because they do fill up very quickly, the shows are very popular. Moving towards the back of the ship, on the left hand side we have more fun shops at sea. And this takes us to the Alchemy Bar. Carnival call this a vintage themed cocktail pharmacy. So you can grab some really unique cocktails with alcohol or without. It offers some great views to the deck below and the gateway. Next to the Alchemy Bar you'll find the Limelight Lounge. This is another venue showing comedy. It's a small venue so get there early if you want to see the shows. There's plenty of seating all throughout this area for you to relax, grab a drink or just watch the world go by on the gateway. Towards the back of the ship we have Fahrenheit 555. This is the extra pay specialty steakhouse on board.
then moving towards the very back of the ship, you'll find the second level of the Festival restaurant. Now let's head up to deck 8 and at the very front of the ship again. First up we have one of the themed main dining rooms. This is included in the price of your cruise. It offers two completely different menus, a Mexican menu as well as a Chinese menu. And you can pick and choose what menu you want to eat on. So you can have an appetizer which is Mexican and then a main dish that's Chinese. And moving forward, we're going to enter the Havana Bar. This is a Cuban inspired bar. It offers live music, and this is where you'll find those Havana staterooms. Now we're in the middle of the ship on deck 8 and back in Celebration Central. Here you'll find a glass walkway as well as plenty of spots to watch all the action on the centre stage. On the right hand side you'll find the Bonsai Teppanyaki. This is an extra pay specialty restaurant with live cooking at your seat. And right next door is Bonsai Sushi. Here you can try fresh sushi and other Asian delights for an extra charge. We've already had a meal here and we were very impressed, it was very reasonable. The pricing is all a la carte, but it's super cheap. Just next door you'll find the Effie shop. There's so many lounge areas as well as different viewing areas to catch all of the action on the centre stage. Right then, let's move towards the back of the ship where we'll enter the gallery area. This is where you can purchase all of your photos you've had taken on board. There's also a small shop selling things like GoPros and photo and video accessories.
Welcome to Miami and 820 Biscayne. First up we have Cucina del Capitana. This is the included Italian themed restaurant. Booking these restaurants is super easy using the Carnival Hub app. The app is really fantastic compared to a lot of other cruise lines. It's one of the best at sea. Moving back into this Miami themed area, we have Bar 820 and a seating area. The theming is completely different to on the Mardi Gras. We really like it, it's really well done. We love the neon lights and the Art Deco touches. Moving towards the back, there's a little food court, including the Miami Slice. Here you can grab complimentary slices of pizza. There's an indoor and outdoor seating area to enjoy your snacks. And also the Deco Deli. Here you can grab complimentary sandwiches and hot dogs. There's a drink station serving juices and iced tea, as well as coffee and water, which are all complimentary. Just after this you'll find Rudy's Sea Grill. This is a seafood restaurant which is an extra charge specialty restaurant. Moving towards the back of the ship, you'll find an ATM machine, as well as Carnival Adventures. Here you can book your onboard shore excursions. And moving further back, you'll find the guest services desk. If you have any problems on board, this is your place to come. And at the very back of the ship on deck hit, we have another zone. This one's called Summer Landing. On the left hand side, you can find the carnival shop. And on the right hand side, there's an onboard brewery. This section is split into two. 
On the right hand side you have Guy's Pig and Anchor Smokehouse serving delicious barbecue as well as the Flavortown Bar. You'll also find a self-service beverage station here with Pepsi drinks as well as water, as well as water, juices and coffee. And on the other side you have the Heroes Tribute Lounge. This lounge is dedicated to those who have served in the US forces. There's a complimentary Swirls ice cream dispensary here, as well as lots of comfortable seating and a large screen for sports. There's lots of different seating areas in this area, as well as some games. Now it's time to head outside on deck 8 to take a look at that wrap around deck. It's a really large wrap around area which we really love, we really appreciate all of the outdoor areas. This is the outdoor dining area for Cucina del Capitano. And this one for Rudy's Sea Grill. And towards the back of the ship, we have a seating area for Guy's Pig and Anchor Smokehouse. At lunch times, the outdoor area is open for service. At the very back of the ship we have an outdoor lounging area with lots of comfortable seating and beds. We're sorry that the pool wasn't filled at this point but it is an inaugural cruise so they were just making some fixes to the pool area. In sunny climates we can see this being a really lovely area to chill out and relax. There's things like TV screens, lots of seats and lots of different areas to chill out. Around the other side you'll find two large hot tubs. And moving forward and moving further forward you'll find the watering hall which is the outdoor bar. All around these promenade decks are different seating areas as well as sun lounges and different areas just to chill and relax. Next up you'll find the seating area for the 820 Biscayne area as well as the outdoor version of bar 820. Whilst we're on the subject of outdoor areas, let's move up to the top of the ship and at the very front you'll find the Serenity area. This is an adults only zone and features lots of comfortable sunbeds. We really do love this area and it does look like it would be an extra pay area on some of the cruise lines, but it's not. It's included. It features a pool as well as lots of different seating areas. There's also a bar. And just above the bar you can see the Loft 19 area. Now this area is for those in the big suites, but there are cabanas for sale for the length of the cruise or just a day. And this area features two infinity hot tubs. The Serenity area is really big, we give a big thumbs up for Carnival for this. 
we didn't see any problems with sun lounges. It also features a large hot tub. Now let's move out of the Serenity area into the centre of the ship. There's plenty of sun lounges all around the ship. The central area is known as the Lido Zone and features lots of sunbathing areas across two decks as well as a large pool and hot tub. Here you'll also find the two-storey Red Frog Tiki Bar. And behind the second level of the Lido area is Guy's Burger Joint. Here you can enjoy complimentary burgers which are absolutely delicious. There's also an ice cream serving station as well as drink station as well as drink station serving juice, coffee and water. Back to the lower level of the Lido zone, you'll find plenty of places to relax and enjoy that sunshine. As well as the lower level of the Red Frog Tiki Bar. On either side of this deck you'll find large seating areas to enjoy all of the food. First up is Street Eats. Here you'll find three different venues including Steam Dream, which specialises in things like bao buns and pot stickers, Mad Sizzle with the likes of kebab and satay, and Time Fries, which serves up every cruiser's dream. Fries loaded with lots of good things. There's also an extra pace seafood bar here as well. And you'll also find a complimentary drink station. On the other side of the ship, you'll find the Blue Iguana Cantina, serving burritos, tacos, and things like that. There's also another drink station. The pool areas are always full of life, as well as some really epic deck parties. We've not seen anything like it anywhere else. And at the very back of the ship, there's a large seating area, as well as a pool and two large hot tubs, as well as plenty more sun lounges to soak up that sun. And just in front of this aft pool area, you'll find a large seating area. 
as well as Shaq's Big Chicken. Here you can grab breakfast items as well as lunch items. Delicious chicken burgers as well as chicken tenders and all of the fixings. Really recommend this place. It's bok bok good. On the other side of the ship, you'll find a Swirls ice cream station, as well as the Tide Bars. And this leads us to the onboard Marketplace Buffet. We haven't really tried the buffet because the quick service food on board has been so spectacular. But it's a really nice themed area with plenty of different seating areas. There's a full beverage station with the Pepsi machines, complimentary coffee, juices and water as well as a beer self-serve station as well. You get all of your normal buffet food including meats, vegetables, sweets, all of that jazz. And we noticed lots of sanitizer stations and washing stations to keep everybody safe. Big thumbs up. Now let's take you to the final part of the ship. It's probably the most fun zone on board. It's called the Ultimate Playground and it's located at the very top of the ship. Here you'll find plenty of fun things to do, including games. There's a full sports court. A ropes course which looks absolutely terrifying. And of course that main attraction, the Bolt roller coaster. Yes, a roller coaster on the ship, you heard me right. And it is so much fun. It costs $15 per person for two laps around. And it's pretty insane that they put this thing on a cruise ship. and there's plenty of comfortable seating areas. This area also features a large splash park for the kids, as well as three really good water slides. And at the very back, you'll find the complimentary mini golf course with some great views of the roller coaster just above. Thank you so much for watching this full tour and walkthrough of the Carnival Celebration. We really appreciate you watching. Please do hit that subscribe button and the like button as well. And a big thank you to all of our patrons. You too can become a patron. You will get extra things like extra episodes, behind the scenes episodes, early access to our videos that are completely ad free, 
a monthly Zoom call, and much more. But most of all, you'll be really supporting us to create more honest and fun videos like this. That's it till next time. Happy cruising! Let me